Right. Right. Okay, the question is why not, since I use the word marginal, and it was introduced by Menger, actually by his follower Wieser, actually used the term marginal, um, and since it does have, in one of its definitions, and one of its uses, a mathematical connotation, okay, or, or it is a mathematical concept, why not uh, accept that and affirm the legitimacy of using mathematical economics to discover economic laws? Um, well, the, uh, the, the, the causal realist approach uses the term marginal in a very different sense, but still it's, it's, it's uh, a common sense use of the word, and that is relevant, the relevant unit. Okay? There is no implication of, um, of arithmetic operations when we talk about the, the, the relevant un unit. So it's, it, it, it's used in, in that sense, in that non-mathematical sense. Okay, I, I, the mathematical sense is a specialized use of the word marginal. So I think if you looked it up in, in, in the dictionary, and this is a question really of semantics, it really is. If you looked it up in the dictionary, you would see both senses there. And we, we were emphasizing the, um, the non-mathematical um, qualitative sense of, of the relevant unit, the unit under consideration by the actor. And because economics is about action, and action itself isn't quantifiable, okay, or at least the value that's used in, in, in evaluating goods and action, that's not quantifiable. We're using it in the non-mathematical sense. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. <laughs>